on watching this, you're going to want to screenshot a lot of this because recently I have one of my ad accounts shut down and now is the perfect time for me to make this video. Whether you've had an ad account shut down or whether this hasn't happened to you yet, these steps can be very useful for anyone who's doing Shopify drop shipping. And lastly, during any point of this video, if you feel you got any type of value through this content that I'm creating for you, I appreciate if you could give me a like. So, with that out the way, first things first, how not to get banned off Facebook ads. The first thing you want, you need to know is if this happens to you or if one of your ads get approved or ad sets get disapproved, you can contact Facebook from 9 a.m. to through 3 p.m. Central Time. Not that many people know that you can contact Facebook, but there is a way to contact Facebook. If you like this, show me. If you would like for me to show you a video how to contact Facebook, leave me a comment below and I will do so in the future. Anyway, moving forward. Most of you who run in Facebook ads already know how to how to run ads through your business manager account. But just in case you don't, or if you're planning on drop shipping and wondering how to set up Facebook ads, I've broken this down in steps for you to complete these tasks. Now how to set up a Facebook business business manager account. You want to go to business.facebook.com. So while you're looking at this, let's scroll here. While you're looking at this, make sure you're taking notes, writing this down, and you're actually doing what I'm telling you because this is very helpful, and this can help you in the long run. You want to go to business.facebook.com. You want to click create account or log into your personal ad account it can be created off a personal facebook account so you can use your personal facebook account that you have right now a page will load up asking for your business name and email and llc is not required we will be using this as a sole proprietor um next thing you will need to put in an address particularly your address or your business address city state zip code and phone number and you need to use your website. It cannot be on a social media platform like you put your YouTube channel or your Twitter or your Instagram. No, it has to be a website or you can use a sales funnel. As you see, that's what I was about to say. It has to be a funnel or a, lit, a legit website with a domain. But you can use your Facebook page URL. Obviously, if you have a Facebook page you can use your URL because it's still connected on the Facebook page and it's on the Facebook platform. You will need an ID to upload on Facebook just so they can verify proof that you are the person that you claim to be to run ads on the Facebook platform. Next, you want to go inside your Facebook business manager, load up business settings. Then you want to go to business info. This is where you're going to put in all your business information. To get an LLC, you can go to google.com. I live in Virginia, so I would type in Virginia LLC. An LLC should cost you anywhere from fifty to two hundred dollars, but at the minimum, I just put fifty dollars. But just expect anywhere between fifty through two hundred dollars. You will submit your submit your LLC through Business Info and Facebook Business Manager account. You will input your EIN and also your tax identification number as well as bank bank statements. So now that we figured out how to create an account, let's talk about what you need to do so you will not get banned. First thing you need to do that's very crucial, very important. You need to delete ads that have gotten disapproved in the past. Also delete any campaigns. Here, let me highlight this. Delete any campaigns or ad sets that aren't running. Example, if you spend 10 to $20 and you're not making any sales, you're not getting the results, and you decided to turn them off instead of just turning, instead of just turning them off, you're better off just deleting them because whenever you stack up a lot of ad sets or campaigns that are turned off, Facebook over time will see that as a red flag. Then you'll get put into manual, manual review. At that point, anytime you want to launch a new campaign, new ad, et cetera, someone on Facebook will have to manual, manually review them for you, which will, be a lot longer process to get approved second way not to second way of how not to get banned on facebook being located in a different country while using a u.s ip address using multiple ip addresses make sure you're using the correct ip address 
I suggest using a VPN so that you can have a consistent location every single time. I recommend NordVPN. Facebook will see that you're advertising within America. So when you start to travel to the UK or Asia, do this to prevent your account from being disabled and doing a security privacy check to make sure you are who you really are. So definitely make sure you got your pen and pencil and got a notepad and taking out all these notes as we move on to step number three having multiple payment methods you need to set up at least two do not get caught within your credit card slash debit card limit on the same day because if you do not have another credit card or debit card on your account facebook will not be able to charge you and pause your account even if you do have the money this can de-optimize your entire campaigns possibly causing you not to get that product profitable. This is very crucial. The next thing we want to talk talk about, the fourth thing that I have for you is getting a lot of ads disproved or disabled over time. Facebook will take a closer look at your ad account every single time that happens to get around that and not get disapproved is to do not advertise major claims, especially those of you who do Shopify drop shipping or those of you who do affiliate marketing. This is very crucial. Examples of this is lose weight in 48 hours, get brighter teeth within the next seven days. Just claims like that, that doesn't seem believable, but it's just trying to persuade the customer in a way Facebook wants to have a positive experience for people on the platform. So when advertising something as a major claim that probably won't be fulfilled, Facebook will not allow it and just disable your ad account. Next tip that I have for you, focusing on a body part too much. So something that got my ad account disabled when I was trying to run an affiliate marketing ad was I was doing a a weight loss product. It was for the sender Sorella. Cinderella solution on Clickbank and I used the images that they sent me but it was basically a picture of two women and I put like a red arrow in between but apparently I was pointing at their stomach and Facebook does not like that because it makes some people feel insecure and it affects them emotionally so keep that in mind focusing on the body part too much can be a problem The next problem is too much ad in the text. So I know most of you are running video ads on Facebook, mainly for your product listing video ad. And you want to be cautious on how much ad text that you have in the video. At minimum, you want to have 20% video ad text going throughout the video. You want to be make sure that if that is the issue, you need to cut back on some of your ad text. You can still get the benefits across and the ad text above where you're trying to get people to click where it says get yours here now, you can put the ad text there, but when it comes to running the video ad itself, you want to keep that to a minimum. Next, for your Facebook account, make sure you're using the right debit card for your computer, tablet, and smartphone. Wherever you're going to be using Facebook ads and launching Facebook ads, make sure that you're using the right debit slash credit card. That's very important. Copyright. This is common based on other people's image, product videos, and lastly, brands and identify you want to create your own content. Example, seeing a video on Facebook with millions on millions of views. Don't go out there and copy that exact video and import it to your ad account and think you're not going to get flagged. There's hundreds of other people using the exact same video along with chances of their videos getting flagged. You definitely do not want to be part of that group. Next tip that I have for you is you can mitigate this by getting the exact video, change up the music, certain crop certain clips and time frames of the video, or the easiest way is to order the product and make your own video to avoid copyright issues. It's more of a personalized ad created for my product or the images and videos that can also go in, onto the, the website as well. So by having images that are relatable to your ads, you, you can get banned on Facebook. So I just wanted to make that clear and touch up on the last part that I was talking about. Okay, now here's a big one. Advertising prohibited items online, such as weapons with ammunition, unsafe supplements. Facebook is really hardcore on supplements. 
because a lot of the sub supplements actually make promises that they do not keep or give out to the people. Also, you do not want to advertise adult products or services or services. Recently, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency has been banned for advertising on Facebook platform. Right next, I have for you. Facebook wants to keep the platform clean at the end of the day. You don't want to be scamming people or stealing from other people, let alone making promises that you can't keep. We want to have a clean business. So it comes back to branding. How do you want to portray yourself as a brand? That's just a personal question that I had for you, the viewer watching this. Something to keep in mind. As we all know, drop shipping from AliExpress, it takes anywhere from 12 to 20 days. That we can't control. But at the end of the day, if we do not deliver the product at all, this is going to help mitigate us from running ads on the Facebook platform and it will get your ad account shut down. We can only control what's within our control. And as long as you stand within that boundary of what of your circle of competence, what you can control, you will be OK. Next, to touch up on this again, having too much text on your actual ad creative you can get banned for having too much words you want to stick that stick to less than 20 percent text on the ad creative combined with your image or video example you have a paragraph for everything ready to go but then on your video you include a bunch of words it adds up to about 20 percent reason one facebook will not show your ad to as many people and if you keep abusing that policy your ads won't perform the best that they can you don't want to be wasting money then your ads is just shown to the bottom of the food chain and not the best people will actually buy your products that was just a touch up on the point that i made earlier about having too many words on your video ad and let's talk about instagram because the for those of you who don't know facebook bought instagram and instagram is owned through facebook a high negative feedback this can also apply to Instagram where you have a post on Instagram, then you get a whole community just spamming you with reporting your image. You can get deleted on Facebook for that and the image will get removed as well. Same thing applies to Facebook advertising. If you have a high negativity community feedback on your ad and people just don't resonate with your ad, you will get banned on Facebook. I want you to understand this can be preventable. You don't have to be in the trap of having too many texts on your images are having negative feedback or selling copy copyrighted products the way to do that is to read and understand facebook policy guidelines they have a specific section on their website go on there and read every single thing that facebook actually doesn't want you doing when you're running facebook advertising next facebook has done a new update based on the new feed that if you have clickbait click bait misinformation or fake promises they will affect the performance of your ad along with not following the correct structure it might affect you on conversions cost per purchase or cost per ad to cart make sure whatever you post to your audience that you're going to be targeting make sure it's meaningful content that is accurate by improving someone else's experience by making them feel good about the product you're selling feel good it makes them feel good about being on social media, specifically Facebook, by reading that ad, watching the video, sharing that post with others while the audience likes it or ends up loving it by having them engage with your ad as much as possible. That is a tip for you to just give you more insights about the Facebook platform overall, not just the Facebook platform, but any platform or social media that's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, LinkedIn, yada, yada, yada. That is what basically every platform is looking for. So make sure you're taking notes. Make sure you're screenshotting all this. I'm giving out free game here. And the key to making a lot of money on Facebook is you have to follow these guidelines. Now, there is more in depth of Facebook. What they want, you can go. You can find this by just going on Facebook.com and checking the guidelines. But this was the video that I have for you today. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button because I'm trying to help save people not get their ad account, let alone their business manager shut down on Facebook. I would appreciate if you like this video. And because you're watching this video, you're within my customer avatar. 
which is men and women ages 18 through 40. So by you liking this video, it will help show you show this video on YouTube to other men and women ages 18 through 40. Let's help all us Shopify dropshippers out there so we don't get banned off Facebook ads because Facebook ads is very crucial to our Shopify dropshipping business. Leave me any comments below that you have about Facebook ads. I will do my best to comment, comment back to you with the information that I have getting my ad account banned and what I did to get my ad account back. Um, lastly, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out all the different content that's popping up on the screen for you here of myself covering social media marketing. Check out all my other Shopify dropshipping, e-commerce, AliExpress dropshipping videos. It's all on the screen for you right here. This has been your friend and mentor, Mr. Da Vinci, signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Be careful. Do not get your ad account banned on Facebook. I will see you next time.